What's up everybody, Michael here. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about three different businesses, but you can start focused around cold email. So one of the first ways I ever got clients back in 2015 when I was starting my agency was through cold email, social DMs, just general outbound. And I really fell in love with cold email there. And up until the point of starting done for you meetings, I've been doing it just kind of without a strong system or just here and there and around 2020 or late 2019 when I launched done for you meetings, got really serious on cold email, started offering as a main service. Right now we have around 50 clients. We've worked with over hundred total. And it's just opened my eyes to how much money there is around B2B prospecting and how much opportunity there is. However, it doesn't mean you need to start a cold email managed agency if you do want to get into the space and provide a cold email related service. There's actually three core services that I would consider starting if I was recommending someone to go into the space or if I had interest in going into the space. So in this video, we're going to break down briefly what these three business opportunities are, how you might do pricing, and a bit around fulfillment. And if one of them sounds interesting, you can go ahead and try it on your own. So let's go ahead and get into the video. All right, so to start off, we have managed cold email campaigns. This is gonna be your traditional cold email agency where you're managing cold emails for B2B businesses. Now, this could be its own video in itself, how to start a cold email agency. This is what I've done. I built it to 70K a month with a team of 17 and we do really well. But I'm just going to briefly touch on it because I just want to focus more on general opportunities rather than an entire guide to one of these business models. Now, for managed cold email campaigns, there's really a core service. And then you could break it down however you want, but really it's full campaign management. If people are paying you to manage your cold email campaigns, you're in charge of a tech. This is essentially staying on spam. This is domains, emails, warm up, sending tools, spam management, bounce management. All the things that make sure your client's emails are in the inbox are the leads. So these are the people that you're actually going to be going ahead and reaching out to. So developing those lists, the scripts, which is the messaging, trying to resonate and either get a meeting or get a form filled, whatever your goal is. And there's a testing of the scripts. And then there's appointment setting, taking people who have responded, handling the conversation, and getting the book in. Now, some companies who offer cold emails as a service, maybe they don't include the tech or we don't include the appointment setting, that's pretty common, but at done free meetings, we generally do all four unless someone has a sales team ready to do their own appointment setting. But this is full campaign management. It's a really in-demand offer. It's hugely valuable for B2B companies, especially when you're working with ones who have good offers and good profit margins and good average order values. Um, however, there's a lot to manage. You have to manage tech, leads, scripts, appointment settings, sales, client support. There, there is a lot. There's a lot of different people who are involved, but it is a good business to go into as long as you understand that. There's also a lot of really cool flexibility around the way you can do pricing. So there's generally three main pricing models. There's obviously hybrids and others, but these are the three ones I see most often. I've sold people on all three of these models. You have retainer. Retainer is where someone pays you a flat amount per month. For example, one, two, three, four, five thousand dollars And you reach out to a fixed amount of prospects, whether that's 500, 1500, 10,000, whatever. And generally what you're gonna do here is have like a three month initial term. And under that retainer, you handle the cost of management of tech lead scripts and appointment setting. There's also what's called pay per lead. So if you're working with a company that has a dedicated sales team, they'll likely have somebody who can handle the appointment setting. They can call them on a phone, send them a package in a mail, add them to an ad campaign, whatever. And in that case, appointment setting might not be necessary. So if you want to do performance, you could offer a setup fee and then charge them per lead. A lead being somebody who responds positively to a campaign. So it's someone who essentially raises their hand and says, hey, I'm interested. And then the last option is paper call. Paper call is when you're being paid for scheduling a call on your client's calendar, or you could do it paper completed call where you're paid when somebody has scheduled and attended a call on your client's calendar. If you really like the whole process of cold email and you have skills around tech, you can know how to hire someone around list building, you enjoy copywriting and appointment setting, and you want to go into this, thumbs up. It's a good, it's a good model to go into, but it is a more complex with a lot of moving parts business compared to some of these other ones we're going to go into in terms of actual management. But I, I do think it's a really good model and definitely a better than a lot of the models I see people starting currently. So there you have it. That is a full cold email agency. Now let's talk about two other business opportunities here. So this next one, in my opinion, has the least competition the most potential, the lowest level of fulfillment, but the most difficulty to actually render a service. So it's not difficult in terms of way a cold email agency has a million moving parts, but this requires having information 
and knowing how to find information that's not readily available. And one of the reasons I see a lot of people fail in business is when they can't find something in a YouTube video or in a blog post or in a podcast or in a course or some nice, neatly packaged area, they just completely turn off. If you're the kind of person who doesn't let that limit you, you're willing to figure things out yourself, you're willing to hire consultants, you're willing to network, you're willing to troubleshoot, this is such a good business with virtually no competitors to go after. I literally have a list of every company I found that does deliverability consulting and it's like 20. Now I'm sure there's more, but let's say there's a hundred. There's not many. So what is deliverability consulting? Deliverability is generally speaking, just working with a tech component of cold email. So deliverability is getting to the inbox. So not in spam, promotions, um, social, you want to be in the core inbox and that can become really technically complex, especially at a larger scale and going to spam, can be a, it's just a massive cost for companies. I mean, let's say that a company has 10 sales reps, they're each paid $75,000 a year, you're talking $750,000 a year, and your emails are in spam. So instead of 7% of people opening your email, it's at 30. Now that's half as many opportunities for the sales team you're spending almost a million dollars a year for. So if you could get that number from 30 to 70% of people who see an email you reach out to, not even talking copy or strategy, just purely eyeballs on target, not in spam, what is that worth? Hundreds of thousands, sometimes millions of dollars. So deliverability consulting is helping companies improve their inbox placement by handling, consulting on, or troubleshooting their cold email tech. Bounce rates, syn spin syntax and copy, removing spam words from copy, um, doing management between domain providers and inbox providers, that way you don't have too much leverage of one, managing sending tools, I'm um, getting out of blacklist, domain and email moderation. There's a lot that goes into this and there is no guide that will help you do this. You need to figure it out, talk to someone who knows, pay someone who knows, and be able to do really advanced troubleshooting. This is probably a really good suited um, business for someone who considers themselves like a bit of a code person or computer engineer type. Uh, but there, the opportunities are insane. I mean, we've had companies come to us where all their emails are in a spam and they have sales reps sitting doing nothing and they pay us $5,000, takes us two hours because we know this stuff, which the value is not in the time, it's my knowledge, and we get them out of spam. It is so, so, so valuable. And generally the pricing you can do, again, there's not much information on pricing, I'm just going off what I've done myself, is an audit, normally two to $5,000 depending on the scope, and then somewhere between a thousand to $2,000 a month on ongoing support to help manage staying out of spam. Now, as a quick little plug, if you do want to go into this and you're not sure how to understand deliverability, but you know a little bit, b2boutbound.io, the program I run with my business partner, Felipe, would be a great option. Felipe is one of the best in the world at deliverability. And um, if you want to sell this and you want support when there normally wouldn't be any, that could be a really good option. So links always below b2boutbound.io if you want to check it out. Now, let's move on to the third option. And if we were saying which one of these has probably the lowest learning curve, and this is probably the easiest one to start. It's probably the easiest one. There's a bit less money in this than the other two. Um, like if I was rating these by personal interest, it'd be like number one, deliverability, number two, manage cold email campaign, number three, lead list. But lead list can be really good. So when people do outbound, whether that's cold calls, LinkedIn messages, cold email, even sending things in the mail or door knocking, they need a list of leads. What is a list of leads? You have first name, last name, title, email, phone number, LinkedIn, company, head count, whatever other information is relevant. It's essentially data mining, list building, lead scraping, contact list, whatever keyword you want to use to build a list of contacts that a sales team can reach out to. So you're not actually doing outreach, you're just providing the contacts. And if we look to like manage cold email campaigns, we have the tech, which tech alone would be deliverability. We have the leads, which lead alone would be a lead list business. And obviously you could do a script or appointment sending business. I think these other two opportunities are better, but it's my opinion. Um, so what would you do? You would provide a one-time, weekly, monthly, or even quarterly lead list to B2B companies. And you can do a few things here. You could do custom lists. So you build a list specific to a custom, uh, company's requirements, or you make a standardized list that you can resell over and over again. For example, let's say that you have a list of e-commerce companies um, on Shopify Plus and you build a new 5,000 leads every single month and you find a few e-commerce agencies where they sign up to pay $1,000 or $2,000 every month to receive those lead lists on a monthly basis. 
Now, you can also do a custom list order. You can do a subscription. I've seen one person where he takes a list of um, companies who just receive funding, and you can pay like $300 a month to get access to, I think it's like 500 a month of companies that just receive funding where you get their information. So he's just curating that one list and selling it to, I don't know, 10, 20, 50, 100 people. It's a very scalable business because you're just selling the same data over and over again. So a lot of opportunity here. Um, it's a lot simpler to start. You can hire someone to build a list before doing it internally or just always outsource it. Uh, it's something where you build a list and if you sell it once, maybe break even, twice, you're profitable, three, it's just, it's just a party. So there you go. And just to wrap up this video, we have three businesses that I would focus on if I wanted to do something in a cold email space but wasn't sure what. Now, other, other ones, yes, um, there's, there's a million other ones you could be creative, but these are three that I would suggest. So if you found this useful, make sure to like the video and subscribe. It really helps out. And if you do want even more in-depth help with your cold emails, if you're starting a business around cold email or just running your own company's cold emails, b2boutbound.io. It's where I put all the information, testing, and learning that I figure out from managing 3,000 inboxes at my main agency, DFI Meeting. So I will see you there. Thanks for watching and have a good one.